Hey everyone, welcome back, Round Geek here. Now the best PDF editor allow you to edit, create, alter and convert the PDF file just like you would with any other text document. And Adobe Acrobat is the most famous option for most people. But while it's excellent both in feature and utility, it's also pretty expensive. So today I will be sharing an amazing PDF editor which is the best alternative to the Acrobat and even you can do tons of things with this PDF editor. Now there are multiple things for which I have to use the PDF and so I have to do many editing in the PDF like editing my text or image part of the PDF or signing a PDF and for this I have been using this Wondershare PDF editor and I am really satisfied. So you can also give a try and without any further delay let's quickly get started. You will be getting the link in the description you can come to their website of the Wondershare PDF editor your AI PDF editor beyond the imagination. Okay, and there are tons of things as I said. You can summarize the PDF, chat with the PDF, translate PDF, grammar check and many other things that we will be discussing in this video. Alright, so if you are really looking for a good PDF editor to do many kind of things with a PDF, then you must give a try with this PDF element. Okay, now once you come up here, you will have to click on try AI PDF editor now and it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file, go with the basic installation here and then finally you will be getting this kind of dashboard here and on my end you can see I already have few files here that I have been using. Alright, so once you come up here, what you can do, you can click on open PDF here. Now locate to the place where you have PDF to make any kind of changes to edit. So on my end, it's on a pen drive here. So I will select it and click on open. Bingo. So now once it get open, all the PDF will be listed here. So I will be starting now with the AI assistant here. And when you hover up on AI assistant or you click on it, you get many different options here. Like you can do AI chat. You can chat with the PDF. You can chat with the AI where you can summarize your PDF. You can translate it. Or if you have any kind of query related to the keyword, then you can do everything using the AI chat option here. Next, you have the AI summarize. You can summarize the current PDF. Like if I click on it, it will start summarizing it and it will give you a quick summary. All right. So you can see it's already working here. So you have to wait for a while until it's all been done. And bingo. So you can see it says the human brain. And very quickly it summarize the PDF here and you can easily read it and so on. You will get many other options like you can use the AI translate where you can translate the PDF or the word translator for any particular word, I guess. So if I click on the PDF translator here, now it says target language is English output folder where exactly you want to uh, translate the output. So let's say the target language is English and I want to change it and I will change it to Hindi language in the output folder. I can specify uh, C users desktop PDF elements so that will be OK. And if I click on translate here so you can see the translation has been started. And once it will be done, it says the translation has been completed. So you can click here on the open PDF. And bingo, so you can see that how quickly and perfectly the text has been translated. The PDF has been translated to a different language. Even the word of the diagram also has been changed here to a different language, which I have selected. So very useful feature, guys. And this can be really fruitful for the people who already have any kind of document, any kind of PDF in a particular language. And they want to convert to a different language to present anywhere, to submit anywhere. So you must give a try to your own document here and see that how exactly it work. OK, so let's come back to the original PDF here. So on a part of the translate, you also get the AI grammar check that you can perform from here only AI generate and it give you generate PPT option. Again, a very useful feature, guys. So if you want to generate a PPT using your PDF, then you can also do that using this tool only. And if I click on it, let me show you. It will come up in a new tab in the browser. So you need to click on generating here. And the moment you click on it, you will find that it will start generating a beautiful presentation, a beautiful PPT for you. 
and you can read on the top it says ai generating don't close this tab while generation is in the progress so it all depends that what kind of pdf you had so it's basically converting and you can see how beautifully it's working here so let's wait until it's all been done all right so it's been finally done now if i go to the very top uh, to the very first ppt here the presentation exploring the wonder of the human brain and it's basically the same topic here and it has converted to a ppt with a beautiful picture at the background then it shows the table of content and it has beautifully designed and the table of content it is exactly the same that i had in the pdf here so that's well done next we have another presentation the brain commanding role then it's briefing here now there might be some changes that you have to make manually like with the heading here you have to change it apart of that you can see the rest of the text the images matching the document here are beautifully created and so on you will be getting many options like you can change the theme whichever theme you want to choose you can select it from the right hand side so that will depend that what kind of presentation you are generating and accordingly you can choose the theme from the right hand side okay so another useful feature now let's come back to the pdf here again okay so in the ai you get many other option ai generation detect as well is being provided in the ai assistant of this wondershare pdf element and now let's see some basic part of this pdf element so once you click on the edit here you get many basic options like you can add a text so if you click on add text and if you want to add text uh, maybe here then you can select it and type the text whatever you want to and similarly you can add the image if you have any image that you want to add then you can select it click on open and the image you can easily add here then you also have the add link option and if you want to add any kind of link on any particular text here then you can simply select it it says open a web page so you can type the url name here and if you want to add any kind of path locally inside your computer then you can also add the path over here so for example i will add here www.youtube.com and click on apply now this time if i click on it on that particular text it will redirect me to the youtube.com or whichever website i have selected you can also make some changes by making a right click here and click on delete or you can edit it whatever you want to do next you have the watermark option if you want to add any kind of watermark simply click on it type your content here for example i will type crown geek then you can position it wherever you want to put so in between will be fine for me then choose the opacity from here so i will keep very minimal seems to be good in front of text or behind the text so uh, i can keep in front of the text whatever you want to choose all right then click on apply and boom so now you can see the watermark has been added in all the pdf here so this way and very quickly very easily you can add the watermark on any of your pdf next you have the background option you can add any kind of background so let's say if i click on add background here and if i want to change the color then i can simply change the color okay that's really dark and if i have any kind of picture so i can click on file here i can locate to that particular location where i have the file i can select it and then i can apply on the background okay so this all depends on you that what kind of background you want to change next we have the header and footer options so if you want to add any kind of header or footer then you can add the text here that you want to add on the top and on the bottom of the page and so on you have the comment option here where you can make any kind of comment then you have the convert option at the very top uh, where you can create any kind of pdf so let's say if you have any kind of text document any kind of file any kind of images and you want to convert that into a pdf then you can easily do that by clicking on create pdf very simple and very useful again to word if you want to convert this pdf to word then you can easily do that you can convert to the excel you can convert to ppt or to any kind of image to any kind of text and even in the more section you get many other options next we have the view where you can rotate view you can add any kind of bookmark organize you can organize the pdf you can rearrange it you can crop it you can split it you can insert anything over here 
then you have the tools options where you can compress the pdf you can compare it you can batch pdf and you can also take the screenshot including the scrolling screenshot and the screen recording and for this the shortcut key has been given here like for the scrolling screenshot control plus f7 control plus f5 for the screen recording next we have the form option here so if you want to add any kind of form then you can click on it and depending that what exactly you need like a text field or a checkbox or the radio button drop down list box or push button then you can simply click on it and then you need to locate to that particular page or position where you want to add it so click on it and the form will be added there then you can just create a form by using all the information editing it on the right hand side you will be getting all the detail that you can use and if you double click on it you can name your form here you can change the appearance you can change the options and you can choose the action that you want for this particular form so again very useful feature that you can use and then we have the protect option so if you want to encrypt your pdf then you can easily do that if you want to mark for the redaction then you can do that you can search and redact you can remove the hidden data you can sign the document from here only and even you can manage the signature or you can request the e-signature from here only so let's say if i want to sign a document then i can place to the position where i want to sign and here you can click on the new id if you already have the existing digital id then you can choose from here or you can also create a new digital id click on next choose the option from here you can go with the windows certificate is stored as well then you can click on store and in the name section just type your name whatever you want to organization unit give all the information here click on finish and your signature will be added then you can click on sign and you can see that it will be added here all right so this way you can do many other things like you can also encrypt our, our pdf here it says open password permission password so you can enter the password that should be uh, asked before opening this pdf all right so hopefully you understood that how useful this pdf element editor can be for you and if you're really looking for a good pdf editor then you must try and go with the wondershare pdf element editor i'm really satisfied go ahead and give a try and let me know in the comment section whether you are satisfied or not if not then also leave your comment i will be really happy with your feedback and that's all guys for today hopefully you found the information useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye